Hey everyone, this is Stefan with Sound Collective Mixing. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a drum bus for drum processing inside of your project. And the purpose of bussing as a whole is mixing is a lot like cooking. So if you have a lot of flavors, complex flavors on a dish, you need some type of binder or another flavor to tie all those flavors together to make a cohesive dish for the consumer. And the same thing applies for mixing. And it's a part of the gain staging process, and the gain staging process never ends inside of your project. And I think gain staging is a really confusing and aspect that really gets overlooked inside of the mixing process. So busing allows you to monitor your levels correctly inside of a mix. It also allows you to add processing to a group of instruments. So say if you wanted to tie your drum kit together using a reverb or a compressor, this gives you the ability to do so. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to create buses for the collective, the collectively recorded instruments. So for example, we need a bus for the kick, we need a bus for the snare, we need a bus for the toms, and so forth, right? So to create a bus inside a Logic Pro 10 or, or an auxiliary track is what Logic likes to call it, uh, if you hit Control or Hold Control and press N, it'll create the auxiliaries. So once those are created, you'll see that Logic Pro 10 initially routes auxiliary tracks to input 1 and 2. We want these to be buses, right? So if you click on input 1 and 2, it gives you the ability to select the buses. So we're just going to go uh, numerically down here, 1, 2, 3. And you can see this could become tedious if you're doing this um, for an entire album, if you're mixing for your friends or for clients regularly. And I do have a tutorial explaining how to create templates inside of Logic Pro 10 that'll kind of tighten up your workflow and free up some time so you can just dive in and get to what's important, which is mixing, right? And so once those are created, we want to name these buses. Always name your tracks and buses. So once they're named, we'll bring these to Unity. And to do that in Logic Pro 10, if you select them and then hold Option and click, it'll bring the faders to Unity. So now that those buses are created, we're going to route the collectively recorded instruments to those buses, right? So we have the two kicks. So if we select them, then hit Stereo Out, and drop down to the bus window, it shows the buses that, uh, that we created along with the name of the bus. So bus one kick, next onto the snare. Oops, miss one there. Sneaky bastard. Then we'll do the toms. And since the hi-hat's by itself, we're just going to route that to the drum bus itself. Cool. So once those are routed, we need to route the buses, the kick, snare, toms, and so forth bus to the drum bus. So it's like busception, right? There's a lot of uh, busing that's going on. But once you actually dive into your DAW and practice this, it becomes a lot simpler. It's a lot more simple than it actually looks like when you're watching it. When I first kind of heard the idea and the concept and watched it, I was kind of turned off by it. Like it seemed like a waste of time. But once you do it, you realize it really does tighten up your mix. And it's actually a really simple thing to do. And any DAW worth its salt will have the ability to, to bus. Um, if you're sending, you know, your vocal to a reverb, that's essentially creating a bus within your DAW. It's the same same concept. So once we have those buses created, we're just going to route this to the drum bus. And then it's done. So if I want to process the kicks as a whole, I can do that. If I want to process the snare as a whole, I can do that along with the entire kit itself. So that's how you create a drum bus inside of Logic Pro 10. Um, hopefully this video helped you guys. If you have any suggestions on videos that you would like to see, please let me know in the comment section. And if you, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.